your connection in Southern Oregon and Northern California. This is News 10 at 6. Good evening, I'm Rick Tillery. I'm Trish Close. Thanks for joining us tonight. On Election Day, voters turned down three local measures in Jackson County. All of them would have cost the community. Some say the combined costs were just too much. News 10's Whitney Clark has tonight's top story at 6. White City still isn't a city. Hawthorne Park Pool will stay empty, and Jackson County Fire District 5 won't be getting new fire trucks. Voters in Jackson County voting down three measures that would have raised taxes. If it, if it would have been one issue, it might have been different. John Watt, a political consultant in the Rogue Valley for more than 20 years, weighing in on the election, he says the failures all came down to money. People need to see the benefit for the dollars that they're spending. I think this time it uh, came down to economics, quite honestly. You know, we've still got high unemployment in Jackson County, people who are out of work. Uh, people are saving their money, they're holding on to it. When it comes to the fire levy, Watt says people may not have known what they were voting for. The White City Incorporation for some, he says, a waste of money. The White City Incorporation, I think people say, we've got the services that we need, why in the world would we incorporate and create another tax burden on ourselves? But the pool measure decision, a surprise. You know, I really thought they'd done a pretty good job marketing that. Uh, but the economic times, I think, combined uh, just led to its defeat. People just want to hold on to their money. But Jackson County voters aren't always holding on to their money. Often passing measures to increase taxes. In 2006, voters passed a $188 million bond to fix Medford schools. Those types of decisions, not like those in nearby counties. To compare Jackson County to Josephine County, it's almost like comparing apples to oranges. In Josephine County, they just don't want to spend any more money, and that's kind of been the trend for them. Jackson County is completely different. For now, things won't be different here. The community has spoken. Covering your news, Whitney Clark, News 10. Medford City Council Member Dick Gordon says for now he has no plans on pursuing the pool issue.